Marion Paris has been strongly upholding five simple words which are Because I am worth it as their symbol of empowerment. It is one of the leading cosmetic brands throughout the entire globe. Today, we know that there are so many things that we could learn from this popular brand. However, our group is going to focus on leadership itself. Over the last 40 years, Jim Paul Adwan has been the president and CEO of Royal Paris. He joined the company right after his university graduation in 1978 from HEC Paris. He then continued to grow as a leader. The headquarters for Royal Paris is located in France, with more than 80,000 employees around the globe. We also know that Royal Paris is the world's largest cosmetic company, and today, Royal Paris management still believes that leadership development starts at the beginning of your career and continues throughout it. So each year, almost 650 recent university graduates join one of Royal Management training programs. The format of each program varies based on geographical location, with training spanning between 6 and 18 months, taking on different missions throughout the organization to learn the business. There are actually three important modules here. Firstly, each trainee has a personal development plan that includes learning about the organization. Secondly, understanding the business models utilized by different brands and developing relationships throughout the organization. And lastly, the program also immerses the trainee into the organizational culture and the trainee learns about what it takes to succeed in the work environment. Most trainees are also connected with a mentor to answer questions and provide guidance. When we talk about leadership regarding Royal Paris, we cannot deny a significant contributor to Royal overall. Success is actually the cross-cultural awareness of managers who often lead diverse teams developing customized products for different regions of the world. While some of these leaders are recruited externally, many are developed through a specific international management training program that includes a 12-month rotation through Paris, New York, Singapore, and Rio. This program seeks out graduates who are curious and able to adapt to other cultures from international business schools. Knowing this skill set is important to help tailor international brands to local markets. Doing business globally also requires ethical leadership, which is an important component of the firm's leadership development. Royal has been recognized for their efforts on the ethics front. In 2016, the Ethics and Compliance Initiative recognized Royal Innovation in Ethical Leadership. The company was also named as one of the world's most ethical companies by Ethics Few. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned a lot about recent graduates. However, Royal Leadership Development efforts do not stop with recent graduates only. In fact, many managers at all levels of, of the organization have the opportunity to further develop their leadership ability through a variety of programs. These programs are primarily based on coaching leaders and are offered with the belief that an investment in leaders goes further as those leaders then develop their own teams. Managers throughout the organizations are held accountable for the development of the employees. Those that fail at developing their own team, even if they meet business outcomes, lose out on performance rewards. All this emphasizes this important point. Leadership matters at Royal. My name is Nick Marisa Binti Nick Mazdan. I will be presenting the jargon imputations where we selected about nine sentences with interpretation, further explanation to the selected interpretation. Let's go. The first selected sentence is, each trainee had a personal development plan that included learning about the organizations, understanding the different brands, business concepts, and cultivating relationships within the organizations. So the word chosen here is trainee, personal development, organization, and cultivating relationships. So here, trainee can be explain as the management trainees that often known as MTs are frequently employed to work and learn alongside managers and executives with the goal of one day becoming into the management within the firm. So the current managers and other senior staff in various areas supervise the training and development of these trainees, teaching them the procedures and system required to keep the organization functioning smoothly and effectively. This role is commonly seen in specific businesses such as operations, finance, sales or marketing. Next one is personal development. Personal growth skills are characteristic and abilities that enable us to improve personally and professionally. In other words, they are abilities that aid to our personal development. Understanding and honing these abilities can help us reach to full potential. This is often referred to as self-development or personal progress. Next is organization. Management's backbone is organization because without an efficient organization, no management can fulfill its functions smoothly. This organization serves as a second step in the management process, attempting to combine multiple activities in a corporation to achieve predetermined goals. It is the structural framework of roles and responsibilities that person must fulfill in order to achieve corporate objectives. 
next from the selected sentence is cultivating relationships. Cultivating relationships includes trust, respect, self-awareness, inclusiveness, and open communication are all required for a healthy professional relationship. The more at ease co-workers are with one another, the more confident they will feel sharing their thoughts, brainstorming, and accepting new ideas, for example. This level of collaboration is required to embrace change, develop, and innovate. When employees experience the benefits of working together in this manner, group moral and productivity will skyrocket. Moving on to the second selected sentence is most trainees are also assigned a mentor who can answer questions and provide guidance. The cross-cultural understanding of managers who frequently oversee varied teams designing customized goods for different regions of the world is a crucial contributor to L'Oreal's overall performance. So the invitation chosen is mentor, cross-cultural and managers. Here we define managers as a professional who serve as a leader in organization and, and oversees a team of employees. Managers are frequently in charge of a specific department within their firms. Managers come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but they all have responsibilities such as conducting performance reviews and making decisions. Managers are frequently the link between a company's workforce and its top executives. Coming up to the next selected sentence is while some of these executives are hired from outside sources, many are created through an international management training program that involves a 12-month rotation through Paris, New York, Singapore, and Rio de Janeiro. So, the selected words is outside sources and 12-month rotation. Outsources, or also called as outsourcing, is the commercial practice of engaging a third party to provide services or generate commodities that were previously performed in-house by the company's own employees and personnel. Outsourcing is a method that is commonly used by businesses to save money. As a result, it has the potential to affect a wide range of tasks from customer service to manufacturing to the back office. 12-month rotation. So the practice of rotating employees between jobs within an organization is known as job rotation. These job rotations are mostly lateral, which means they take place between occupations on the same level and are not considered promotions. They are also frequently transitory with workers returning to their former job after a set period of time. The fourth sentence is this program wants graduates from international business institutions who are curious and adaptable to diverse cultures. Having this skill set is vital to help tailor international companies to local markets. So the word chosen here is adaptable and diverse culture. Adaptable or cultural adaptation, also known as cultural intelligence, refers to an individual's capacity to change their communication and management approaches based on the culture and environment in which they operate. Diverse culture or cultural diversity. It is synonymous to multicultural, multiculturalism. The Encyclopedia Britannica defines multiculturalism as the belief that cultures, races, and ethnicities, particularly those of minority groups, merit special recognition of their diversity within a dominant political culture. Fifth sentence is, doing businesses on a worldwide scale necessitate ethical leadership, which is critical component of the firm's leadership growth. L'Oreal has been recognized for its work on ethics. The Ethics and Compliance Initiative recognized L'Oreal's ethical leadership innovation in 2016. Ethisphere also rated the corporation one of the world's most ethical companies. So the word selected here is ethical leadership, leadership growth with work ethics, ethics and compliance initiative or ECI and Ethisphere. Ethical leadership entails person acting in accordance with a set of principles and values that are widely accepted as a sound foundation for the general good. Integrity, respect, trust, fairness, transparency, and honesty are examples of this. Leadership growth or leadership development is the pursuit of improving a, a professional's abilities and attributes in order to make them a more successful leader. Professionals work on specific categories which are commonly referred to as leadership development areas to accomplish this. Work ethics is defined as a determination and dedication to one's job. Professional accomplishment is highly valued by those with a strong work ethic. They demonstrate moral beliefs that make them exceptional employees in any job. If we have a strong work ethic, if one have a strong work ethic, they will value their job and believe that hard effort is necessary to sustaining a strong character. Ethics and Compliance Initiative, or ECI, is a membership organization and research institution that sees organizations in developing and sustaining programs that have been shown to promote organizational integrity. They work with leaders to build strong ethical workship cultures and profitable organizations to do the right thing. Ethics Fear 
or the Ethisphere Institute is a for-profit organization that develops and measures corporate ethical standards, acknowledges and promotes best practices in business ethics. Last but not least, the selected sentence is, managers are held accountable for their workers, development throughout the organization, those who fail to grow their own teams, even if they fulfill corporate objectives, will not receive performance re rewards. All of this emphasizes an essential fact, leadership is crucial at L'Oreal. So the selected interpretation is uh, workers' development, performance rewards, and leadership. Workers' de development, or in other words, is employee development, is the process by which employees with the aid of their company go through professional training or pursue learning opportunities in order to better their skills, knowledge, and careers. Performance rewards whereby employees in a company are given performance-based rewards based on their performance, pay plans, incentive system, crew bonus, group bonuses, and commissions are all examples of performance-based compensation. Membership-based rewards are delivered to the company's employees in the form of benefits and services. Leadership A leader is someone who has managerial authority and can influence others. But the process of leading and influencing a group to achieve its goal is known as leadership. Now we will go to the next part, which contains the selected question about which we will discuss more in the mini case study. This section will be presented by my friend Fayid and myself, Alexander. The perfect given question is listed on the screen. The first question Why do you think Loria invests so much in leadership development? The second question what role does a mentor play in leadership development? The third question, why is cross-culture awareness important for a leader at a company such as L'Oreal? The fourth question, do you think a management training program will be a good way to start a career with a company? Why or why not? After some discussion, we choose to elaborate on the second question in our presentation. As we all know, mentoring is critical, not just for our leadership development, but also for developing a high quality and productive team. Thus, we will concentrate on mentorship and leadership program through the process and the response up to the second question. As a result, we shall explain what is mentor, the role of mentor, the difference between mentor and coach, the benefits of to the mentee, the benefit to the mentor, what is it to be a leader, Leadership in a nutshell, mentoring build leadership, benefit to the company, and the impact to the company. So, what exactly is a mentor? Mentorship is a mutual beneficial professional relationship in which an experienced individual, the mentor, communicates knowledge, expertise, and wisdom to a less experienced one, which is the mentee, all while strengthening the mentor, mentoring abilities. The mentor primary role is to guide the mentee. Mentors are very significant source of information. As experienced individual, mentor must assess the responsibilities and provide an insight in addition to knowledge. Additionally, the mentor must serve as a motivation for his or her mentee. Mentors must motivate their students and develop in them a spirit of dedication. Mentor provide a guidance and a word of encouragement to the people and continue when life or work become difficult. Finally, the mentor should be able to connect to their mentee. A mentor connection with a mentee must be founded on trust, honesty and openness. When you need someone in whom you can place a faith, Having a mentor as an impartial third party is invaluable. Now, we will discuss the difference between mentoring and coaching in the workplace. As can be seen, mentorship is a long-term commitment, while coaching is a short-term commitment. Additionally, the mentor duty is to concentrate on an individual overall growth, or, while the coach role is to focus on the development of talents. Additionally, the primary distinction between mentoring and coaching is that the connection between the person. For mentor, is equal relationship, 
while the coach has a greater power. Finally, mentors let their mentees to grow at their own pace while coach set the development agenda. However, both mentoring and coaching can increase the confidence and interpersonal skills of the mentee. Following that, we will discuss the advantage of the program to the mentee. The first benefit is to is that the mentor engage in the mentee and provide them with the information necessary to succeed at work. Additionally, mentor enable the mentee to be an extrovert through the interactions with others. Besides, mentors will aid in the development of the mentee communication abilities by communicating more expressly using verbal work throughout the process. Furthermore, mentor will assist us in becoming into charismatic leader by motivating us in all areas. Consequently, mentor inspire confidence in us by correcting their mentee mistake by when they make any mistake. Finally, a good mentor will assist their mentee in controlling their emotion by offering a stability and strong moral compass. As a conclusion, mentors are critical in the life of those seeking higher level of achievement. Not only mentoring will assist the mentee in their growth, but this program will also assist the mentor on their path. By providing guidance and correcting their mentee error, they may build their confidence and improve their communication abilities. Additionally, it will provide the mentor with a sense of fulfillment at work, as they will have done their best to teach them. This results in the sense of job satisfaction at work. All of this results in the development of loyal employees who are committed to the success of their company and see employment with the organization as being in their best interest. In a nutshell, having a mentor does not imply weaknesses. It demonstrates that you are intelligent and motivated enough to achieve. My name is Mo al Fahid Bama Isri and now it's time for us to know what it takes to become a leader. There are 8 characteristics that we want to highlight in this presentation. The first one is drive because leaders are ambitious and have high work rate. Leaders that have high work rate tend to be more productive and tend to invest more in their people. Hence, there will be more followers that want to follow the leader. Second is desire to lead. Leaders that have high desire tend to become more influential in their leadership. In, in their leadership. Um, and people will tend to follow a leader that have high desire and has a vision and a goal in what they are heading to. Next one is honesty and integrity. Leaders need to build trust and relationship between them and their people. Because relationship is built by trust and trust is gained by honesty and integrity. These traits are important in order uh, to build a bonding between a leader and a follower and hence uh, a good leader must have this both of these traits. Next is self-confidence. Followers need a leader without self-doubt. This is because uh, no follower will want to follow a leader that has second thoughts in their mind. Followers want to have a leader that is firm and have a solid uh, decision, a solid thought in their mind and a very firm in standing their ground. Next one is intelligence. Leaders need the wisdom to, to coordinate. Um, when the tough times arrive, the wisdom or intelligence from the leaders are so important in order to overcome the problems and in order to coordinate well in uh, desperate times and in high pressure, intelligence and wisdom is needed in such leaders. Next one is job relevant knowledge. Leaders must know the company inside and out. When a leader or a person knows a job or the organization itself inside and out they will give their heart and soul uh, in a position in their job and in order to recreate what they have the sense of belonging they will invest their effort and their time to the people in order to instill uh, the job uh, relevant knowledge uh, for their people in order to spread the legacy of the organization Next one is extraversion. Leaders are energetic, sociable, and always connect to people. As I said before, leaders need to build trust and relationship 
So in order to be a relationship, they must be sociable, they must be um, energetic, they must be able to connect with people, to make the first move, to go down and ask, to go down and make the first move, to know the people, to in order to build the trust and to build a relationship, in order to sustain a long last relationship. And last one is proneness to guilt. With high position comes high responsibility. When, it, when people are in high responsibility or in high position, they tend to make mistakes because everyone tends to make mistakes. And as a leader, um, the courage for us to admit uh, our mistakes and learn from it is something that is needed to become a leader. Because a leader with ego that never admits the mistakes will never grow and hence spread negative thoughts to their followers. And now, after we know the eight characteristics that makes a leader successful, uh, it's time for me, for us to show um, a concept or an analogy of leadership from the author that we really uh, admire, uh, that we have been following for quite some time, which is John C. Maxwell. And uh, it is called uh, the five levels of leadership and we would like to address this as the leadership in a nutshell because this analogy or this concept uh, summarizes leadership in the most simplest and relatable way for us and as we can see in this picture in this figure there are five levels of leadership which are position permission production people development and the pinnacle uh, I will explain more about this five level of leadership um, by levels starting from level one. So let's start with level one, which is position. Position is a level where your leadership is based on your position in the job or your position in a certain organization. Um, this leadership is the first level because people follow you because they have to because you are the boss and you have a higher position than others this is a good place to start but a terrible place a terrible place to stay this is because um, if you continue to lead with only based on our position then our leadership will never grow uh, at this position at this level leaders have no influence so leaders that are in level one position or leaders that lead based on their position only have no influence towards their people and leadership is based on title and position and as i said before this level one summarizes that this leadership are based on your position in a certain organization or in a job and people will not follow beyond your authority as in if a person have a higher rank or higher position in the organization than you then the people will never follow you because the position is higher than you then as i say the level one um, is a good place to start but a terrible place to stay so for leaders in level one we will never have to be complacent because the leadership that we are having will not last unless we climb up to the next level which is permission now it's time for level two which is permission this level of uh, leadership is when people follow you because they want to not because they have to uh, in other words this leadership is based on relationship as i said what it takes to become a leader honesty and integrity trust trust uh, trust that is built and relationship that is built by trust at least are uh, the level that we are going to into the level two which is permission the followers give permission for us to lead them um, in this level two uh, leaders need to focus on their team and connect with them in other words they need to know each and every one of their followers uh, get into touch with them get in a relationship with them earn their trust, build trust with them, trust them in the team and um, build a bond that um, at the end 
uh, will lead to them giving you the permission to lead them and uh, you can care without leading or not leading without care leaders must care towards their followers because uh, as I said before you can care without leading but you cannot lead without care a leader that is leading without care is not a leader mm, but care can lead to a better leadership so and in this level we can see that relationship is very very important to become uh, to enhance your relationship skills and um, in order to build a good organization and, and sustain uh, leadership uh, towards your followers you have you need to have a good relationship with them and as I said relationship will not sustain without relationship so remember in level two we need to build trust we need to build relationship and bonding with them in order to sustain a longer leadership with their followers and now we are climbing up levels to level 3 which is production level this is the level where we get things then we have built a relationship with them we have a high position with them uh, and now it's time for us to prove that we can produce something together so in this level uh, it's focusing on the actions that we do as a leader and in the team uh, to produce results to produce uh, results and to excel in production level so um, as I say in producing results it's not about them producing result but producing results together as a team and as a leader with a good relationship with your follower you need to guide and being the first one at the front to lead them to produce the results that we want um, in level 3 also we need to have a good balance with level 2 which is uh, the permission level and as I said producing results um, is needing to consider the relationship and the bonding and each characteristics of the follower that uh, we are working with uh, because knowing each and everyone's character can help us to make our way to produce efficient and high quality results and in this level results speaks about their leadership the better the results the higher quality of the results the more efficient the way we produce results um, that is going to be the benchmark of our leadership if we produce well if the team goes well it means that our leadership is on the right track so in this level it focuses on how we coordinate and how we use the relationship we have with our followers in order to produce results and make our team or our company improve um, in the short term and also the long term And now, we are at the level that is our personal favorite, which is level 4, People Development. And why this is our favorite uh, level is because that um, by developing people, it shows that our leadership is arriving at a level that uh, we can be proud of because we produce leaders. Leaders that produce leaders are the best version of leaders. In our opinion so in level 4 leaders become great not because of their power but because of the ability to empower others so um, in in answering in answering the question of uh, this case study which is what is the role of a mentor in organization in uh, developing leaders as I said a uh, mentor uh, to summarize it mentors are categorized as a le level 4 leaders because they empower others they become an idol, they become a reference, they become a go-to person for a follower. They provide guidance, they provide motivations, they provide insights that other people don't have because they have been there before. So um, I, I would say that uh, mentors can be categorized as level 4 leaders. Um, and as I said, empowering others is better than showing 
the people the power that we have. Empowering, empowering others are the best vision of a power in a leader. Um, success without success success without success is a failure uh, mentors are, are chosen or are given a task to guide the new trainees in order to replace them in order to replace these people that have been uh, giving their efforts for years and you becoming the next generation of leaders in the organization for example L'Oreal so in this case study we can see that L'Oreal is focusing more and investing more on the people and they believe that success without success is a failure and with that they create a mentorship program where uh, the mentors empower the new trainees and building them towards their goal which is becoming the successor of L'Oreal and if you don't believe in the messages you don't believe you won't believe the message so uh, level four or mentors in level four leaders um, we would categorize it as a messenger that comes to you and gives you a message so in order to uh, produce more leaders they need to trust they need to rely, they need to really uh, support the mentor, really believe that the mentor can help them to become the successor of L'Oreal. So um, level 4 leaders are very very important uh, in order to uh, create a success uh, or a legacy uh, in the company. And lastly, leadership is legacy. To summarize level four is that leadership is legacy. What Rory, what L'Oreal is doing uh, is instilling that legacy is the key for L'Oreal's sex. And um, investing in people, investing in training programs that took 12 to 18 months with a personal mentor guiding you towards uh, each and every step of the mentorship program it shows that L'Oreal is uh, really really uh, believing that empowering people developing people and legacy is the key to the success and is the key to create more leaders and mentors in le level 4 uh, leaders leadership uh, I would say uh, have reached a level that they can produce leaders that can be better than them and that can grow the company or the organization in a level that is better than the current level and lastly we have come to the top of the five levels of leadership which is level five which is uh, the pinnacle the pinnacle is a leader that have proven their leadership over a lifetime they are known not only outside of the organization but also beyond a lifetime and the respect that is given to them is freely given uh, to the leaders of level 5 uh, to sum it up leaders in level 5 is leaders that have contributed um, big changes in organization or in the company um, such as their contribution will forever remember uh, in this case uh, the level of leadership is uh, we can categorize it as uh, for example Abraham Lincoln uh, Tun Mahade Toguru Ni Aziz the leadership have been proven over the lifetime and uh, for some of the examples that I mentioned before they have no longer existed in this world but their contributions their leadership their, their quotes are forever being discussed and being brought up in any presentation or any stories and, and they become inspiration to people and this is what it, this is what shows and this is what proves 
that certain person is in the pinnacle or the level five, the highest level of leadership. And uh, that's it for level five or the five levels of leadership. And to summarize uh, what we have been discussing uh, for this case study, we can see or we can say that mentoring build leadership. Quoting uh, Pierre Julien, the L'Oreal Group Manager of uh, Diesel Fragrance and Mycin uh, Margiela, uh, he says that mentoring has enabled me to build up a soft authority, my own collaborative leadership style. And as I said, uh, from the five levels of leadership, people development is one of the most crucial or yet the most highest level that we can uh, achieve in such organization and company. And uh, mentoring is one of the initiatives that can be done uh, in organizations such as L'Oreal to develop more leaders, to develop a legacy so that this brand, this L'Oreal brand, this L'Oreal brand will be uh, continuing to success, to find success, to be success for years and years to come, for more generations to come. So uh, we, can, we can relate the five levels of leadership and the role of a mentor in L'Oreal. The role of a mentor in L'Oreal is simple, is to build a legacy is to develop people, is to provide guidance, motivations and inspirations, insights that comes from the people that have been there before, insights that they can get nowhere else. These are the essential uh, traits that need to be implemented in every organization in order to become success and to be and to produce more leaders to connect with them because mentor connect with the, the with the followers with the trainees they have higher position they have a good relationship they have trust with their followers the mentors have been known to produce results that have high quality and high efficiency and the mentors have been and has uh, have been known to produce more leaders for the previous years and 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 are ready to produce more leaders in the years to come so this analogy or this concept of leadership can be relatable for this case study and i think um, to sum it up mentoring builds leadership and legacy is a leadership that is carried out by L'Oreal and how to build a legacy they invest in people and how they invest in people they invest by mentorship so now we know why uh, L'Oreal implemented a mentorship program for the new trainees but now we need to discuss what the benefits that are uh, that the mentorship program have towards the company the first one is employee engagement um, as I said in level 2 building relationship building trust from employer to employee next one is employee satisfaction they know they will be satisfied with the service that have been given from the company because the mentors care for them the mentors look after them, guide them step by step in their way towards becoming a successful leader in L'Oreal. Next one is employee loyalty. No employee in this world would leave a company like L'Oreal when they invest so much in the people rather than in the products. Because the people that make L'Oreal grow and the people that make pro and the people produces results for L'Oreal. So they know the key of their success it is, is their people next one is diversity in, in leadership uh, we can see that in mentoring um, in developing people in developing leaders l'oreal will not just producing just one type of leaders there will be a lot of flexible leaders leaders that have 
good traits in certain areas and uh, have excelled and have gifted uh, skills in a different area so um, the benefit to this company is that the diversity in leadership the different styles in leadership will benefit them in coping with any uh, any changes in the environment any changes in the industry any changes in the market they can t cater and they can tackle any problem or any situations in the future next one would be knowledge sharing uh, when there are two-way communication where are where there are people development uh, and relationship coming through there are knowledge uh, sharing between the trainee and also mentors not to mention from mentor to another mentor and when the trainees have become the lead a lead a leader and uh, they will share they will bring a new uh, a new era uh, a new uh, face a different perspective towards how they want to bring the company forward so that is one of the benefits that L'Oreal can have and another one uh, is onboarding ease um, uh, this will have this system that L'Oreal has made will provide or will lead to an easy shifting from another from one generation to another generation uh, as I mentioned before legacy is leadership so uh, with this legacy system being implemented it is going to become easy when uh, shifting from another generation to another generation in the future and last one uh, is strong company culture where um, in the mentorship program is developed or implemented differently at certain areas in the world so um, the mentorship program really relates to the environment of the uh, location and it relates to the people that uh, are located there so um, they have uh, a diversity and also uh, although the, the the modules or the the development program are slightly different uh, in each region but the core values of the company will still be carried out the same way so we can say that L'Oreal implemented that anywhere in the world uh, L'Oreal goes the core values of the company will always be be brought and it will always be proud of by the employees of L'Oreal hence making L'Oreal a company that will always be firm and strong uh, regardless any situation or any setbacks that will happen to them and lastly uh, we want to discuss about the impact towards the company so uh, I'm quoting from uh, Henri L'Oreal internal control intern he says that different generations are learning to better collaborate and leverage each other's strength eventually helping today's leaders drive stronger business impact and giving future leaders an early peek at the view from the top so this sums up or this sums up perfectly the level four of leadership which is people development we can see that this mentorship program or mentoring is very vital in developing people and creating a legacy in l'oreal and uh, we would agree that uh, it introduces the trainees towards the company in a more relatable and a more sincere way where they need they will know or they will learn about the company by heart and soul and by doing that when they become a leader they will grow the company with the heart and soul and develop more leaders with the heart and soul and with this sense of belonging I wouldn't doubt the success of L'Oreal will be continued for years and years to come. So thank you for me. So in conclusion, L'Oreal emphasizes the importance of leadership development 
especially through the method of mentorship to train employees to lead as well as training new members for a long-term period. The benefits of mentorship includes developing self-confidence, gaining communication skills, increasing the loyalty to the company, etc. Our references for this presentation include websites such as indie.com, mindtools.com, and theugroup.com. And with that, thank you.